Vatican City now. Robin and Josh, they're in St. Peter's Square where they met Pope Francis just a short time ago. You see the moment there. And Josh, you have a lot more now on Pope Francis, this remarkable, even revolutionary first year in the Vatican. It certainly has been, George. Just seeing that video again, uh, it does send uh, chill bumps down the spine. I just loved hearing George saying when we met the Pope, when, when Josh and Larry. <laughs> that actually Lair happened. We can prove it. Exactly. And George, that's a perfect uh, word, revolutionary. Two others, though, for this morning. Humbling and memorable. Mm. Uh, what a morning here. We watch the Pope really be this Pope, the people's Pope, kiss babies, greet these huge crowds, thousands upon thousands from his Pope mobile, and of course, even giving a <laughs> inspired thumbs up to his favorite soccer team here from Argentina. Uh, he was very happy that they brought the championship cup uh, to him. It was quite a morning to be sure and an honor to have been there for it all. He walks the streets, poses for pictures, embraces the sick and is not afraid to have a bit of fun and engage it seems just about everybody. His Twitter account at Pontifex ranks in the top five most searched words on the internet where his is also the most talked about name in the year 2013. A former janitor and nightclub bouncer, he's been called the People's Pope. And in just nine months, he's captured the imagination not just of the world's 1.2 billion Catholics, but the world itself. I get it on the streets. I mean, everybody from the bartender to the cab driver telling me, uh, Cardinal Dolan, we love this guy. He's also ushered in a kind of truce in the culture wars. When pressed about gays in the church, he responded, quote, a gay person who follows God, who am I to judge him? And both Time Magazine and the leading gay magazine, The Advocate, have named him their person of the year. The first non-European pontiff in over 1,200 years. His style was different almost immediately, the thousands before him as he bowed and said, pray for me. And suddenly there was a connection with people. That set the tone for this papacy. The very next morning, he stunned locals and tourists alike when he walked into St. Mary Major Basilica unannounced. He then went to the hotel where he'd stayed for the election and paid his bill. Just days ago, he celebrated his 77th birthday and blew out candles surrounded by children. Julia and Michael Chandler, Americans visiting Rome, could not believe their eyes when they saw Pope Francis reach for and bless their baby, Mary Agnes. Three days later, it happened again. But when it actually happened, it was just, you know, you just get overcome by emotion of the moment. Ethan Mack, a student at Boston College, had the idea to trade hats with the Pope. And to his surprise, the pontiff actually went for it. For him, it was just a small act of kindness, but for the two of us, he really like made our lives. What we're after was a good pastor with a track record of solid administration, but fatherly, warm, tender care for the sheep, for his people. And boy, we got that on steroids. You certainly <laughs> got that. We saw that today. In fact, uh, when Robin and I uh, got to our seats, we saw we were right next to a family with three young children, Spaniards living in London. London. And we knew when we saw the cherubic little faces that certainly Pope Francis would be stopping next to us. And he did. He loves the little yeah. children. And it was such a wonderful thing to see him with them. And everybody was very civil. Everyone wanted everyone to have their moment mm -hmm. and not getting, but when we saw the family, you know, Josh was shameless. He was like, can we borrow one of the kids <laughs> just in case? We want to make sure that Pope Francis stops by, but it, I, it's something that both of us will never forget, yeah. that simple moment. That's fair, very, very, very fair to say. <laughs> so Josh is still Josh in St. Peter's yeah. Square. He does all the same things all the same. You know, I also love the that. back stories I could tell you too. <laughs> the back stories that I have. <laughs> it all worked out in the end. It, it all worked out in the end. Go to GMA News on Yahoo <laughs> for the back stories. <laughs>